Hello everyone, welcome to this walkthrough for Symphobia Colours Orchestrator. There's two new Symphobia Colours libraries released at the same time. Animator here, which is another video. This one's Orchestrator, part of the Symphobia range, but smaller, bite-sized, just tailored to one thing. And the whole point of Orchestrator is legato chords. So let's load up the first one and see what we're playing with here. Um, same interface as Lumina and the other library in as much as the mic positions and all these controls, uh, which I've sort of covered. Uh, I'll quickly go through them in a bit, but let's get on with it. Uh, so this is Brass and Winds. Now, all this is about is about this is something completely new, really. I think I don't think anyone else has done this. I might be wrong, but to actually have the legato transitions recorded for entire chords not just for individual notes and so here in the blue you have major here in the yellow uh, that will be minor and you can play anything to anything And all those transitions are recorded transitions between those chords. Uh, and I think that works really, very well on this brass. Occasionally you hear a little jump, but it's pretty darn good. I should say I'm working with the just slightly ahead of release versions here. So there may be final tweaks. Uh, you've got a few tweaks on the control here. Uh, you've got uh, legato volume. Uh, so if I turn it all the way down, just hear what the legatos are doing. So you're getting the fade-in of the next sample without any of the transition. And you might want to just tweak that a little bit. That sounded pretty smooth there to me. That's very nice indeed. And I am horribly critical about legato stuff uh, i can't believe they've they've entrusted me to actually do this review and uh, knowing how often i go on about it that is sounding really really nice i think that's great and you've also got attack that just the attack is just for the initial note not the legato transitions there might be something coming up in a further update i understand uh you've got a limiter no. uh reverb Octave shift just moves the keyboard around if you prefer it somewhere else, and there's a release. Uh, and you can have that as well on the close mics. This is the close mix rather, not the close mic. I think I want to turn the legato back up there. nice indeed so you've got brass and winds you've also got a strings and wire that is locked in the brass and winds before anyone says can you separate those mm, no it's a combo and they've done this back from the first symphonia onwards really that they've recorded combinations together at the same time you can't separate them but you do get a very cohesive sound that you wouldn't necessarily get so nicely if you did them separately okay so this is strings and choir so start that again because that was just bumped Occasionally you get a little bump. Most of them are really nice and smooth. I know this is literally a few days before the library goes on sale and they've been very kind and said for me to do a review ready for when it's there. And they've been doing all these tweaks in the previous week and in the week it's all those bumps have come down massively and it's really sounding, was, to me it's about 80% of where I'd hope it would ultimately be, I suppose. Because it's a gorgeous sound, isn't it? But just occasionally...
occasionally you get the tiny little bumps, but they're pretty few and far between. Uh, I often find that close and just up in the reverb a tad, that sometimes can help. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, what's next? Strings and choir and bonus trim. Okay. Now that isn't sounding as smooth to me. Let's up this a little. Let's move that to close. quite as smooth as the other two is it that one i don't know if there'll be more tweaks going on for these videos i know that this is really early days for the product and sometimes it's frustrating if you come back in a year's time and you want to know what a library's like and there's only you know you only hear stuff about the first version and so i will almost certainly do a little update video to these when they've this is a 1.0 in the corner here when uh, they might have done more tweaks so you can hear the difference um, but I think those first two patches are really, really good. That's third one, hmm, a bit less keen on that at the moment. Um, but like I say, all a work in progress. Dark bases. Now they're darn perfect, they are. Can I score the Hobbit 3, please, with this and Lumina? No, Guy, you can't. Actually, don't get me started on the Hobbit. Not the music. It's another story. Right. Now, these aren't legato, but they follow the same mapping. So, you know, you have to be a little careful on those overlaps. Beautiful again. And you hear all these, I'm riding CC1 all the way through. You've got that dynamic range, which is pretty critical to anything like this, of course. Uh, <clears throat> there's a few of these non-legato patches. This one is high strings and choir. This patch obviously like the legato octave dark basses is properly chromatic please tell me how you say flagellate i should know that i'm sorry but it's that really high wispy sound that you get from violins with a lower choir Beautiful. Really good. This patch, I believe, comes from Symphobia 1. And still sounds awesome. Some of these are in here mainly because of your... Well, I'll come on to the multis in a minute, of how they're used in multis. Uh, so you can, what's that there for? That's the reason. And we have some staccato. 
as well. So we're back to the chord mapping now. Hear that? Low velocity. You have a little pizzicato moment. Just creep down up a little. more natural room in there. If I got rid of the reverb completely you can hear the space it's in. And so now I'm a bit louder. Giving it a good whack. Uh, very good uh, and similarly for the brass and winds here. Same deal, only there's no pizzicato because, well, think about it. Hear that? A little marcato sample there if you really whack them. Good, that isn't it? You see, it's not that. So, there we go. That's the instruments. After a quick edit, we'll go to the multis. We have a bunch of multis in orchestrator. Uh, let's get going here. I do love my multis. So, um this is where I was talking about some of the instruments are here really just for inclusion in the multis. And this is a perfect example. Just tweak this mic. Here we go. Uh, so we have our strings and choir here. Down the bottom we have of course I run out of hands as happens. And even up the top, we've got some high strings, I think. There you go. That's not bad. It's just frustrating that I can't do CC1 at the same hand. I should investigate a foot pedal for CC1. I know you can use that for expression. I wonder how I get on with that. Because you do get the running out of hands thing. Because the joy of these is you can do that. And then when you, it, you, you know, two hands. Nah. Um, so, yeah, you've got that nice high stuff up here as well. I think you heard that. Uh, as well as the other things. Uh, the second one is, I think, a variation on a theme. Ah, yes, I know what's going on here. We've got some... We've got some extra chords going on here. You've got the high strings and choir going on. And those, you notice, they aren't legato ones. At the moment, if you play two things at once, it turns into a mess. I think that might be worked on in a subsequent update um, to do with contact scripting and stuff. But that gives you, if you're playing carefully, just gentle with the overlaps. That sounds pretty damn good. Again, you've got the high strings there, and you've got the gorgeous celli and bass here uh, number three brass and winds ah, they do sound phenomenal don't they uh, same sort of combination, really, as number one, except you've got brass. You've still got your strings up there, but, of course, you've got the brass instead of the 
strings and choir. And I think another similar variation here. So now you've got the whole, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got the whole orc in one hit, sort of there, with the high strings. Come on, listen to that! orchestrator well that's promising a lot isn't it <laughs> grand orchestrator you've got to deliver the goods if you're going to name something grand orchestrator uh, and look that's pretty much everything what have we got here uh strings and choir brass and winds all on the legato you've got the cello and the bass you've got the legato octaves and the dark basses down right come on let's play the thing <laughs> that was delivering i'm going to investigate this business of getting a foot pedal you know that will solve my problem here. oops <laughs> god so at the bottom here we've got our dark bases with our trillion bases so it's even bigger Sorry, I'm just experimenting <laughs> without you know what I'm doing. Oh, gee. That's just fabulous, isn't it? And the Grand Staccato. What am I doing? Playing chord? No, come on. Same thing. Play loudly. I don't know why I'm playing major and minor at the same time. I've lost a plot. There you go. That's orchestrator. Um, fabulous. Uh, so for my money overall, I think this is wonderful. It feels slightly 1.0 in a few places, uh, and I'm looking forward enormously to 1.1. Just those transitions, particularly on some of the lower dynamics that you heard on the, the TREMS patch, I'm pretty sure all that will be uh, worked on in the fullness of time. Uh, but as it is... I think the brass is pretty much spot on and the the, the main strings and uh, winds are pretty much pretty close to being there as well. So I already, I think this is very good and Project Sam are very good at their updates. All of their Symphobia range have come up 1.1, 1.3 with Symphobia, I think, and they keep adding new content as well for those. Uh, so I think any gremlins like that, uh, they're probably aware of them, but feed them back if you find anything that's uh, that's bugging you. And I'm sure... That will be updated in time. Well, thank you very much for listening. I now have a YouTube channel, Guy Rowland, the imaginatively named, and you can find the other animator uh, product in the Symphobia Colours range, uh, a little walkthrough of that, uh, and anything else that comes up in the fullness of time. Thank you very much. Uh, see you on the next one.